Hiya, and today I'm going to show you how to fit a starter dryer. This is your starter dryer. Now, the first thing before you touch one of these is to make sure that you're uh, with your anti static wristband. Okay, now on the front of the starter, you're going to have your starter connector and your power. And if you take a look at your starter power cable, it's quite different to your normal Moloch power. And then you're going to have your starter connector on your motherboard, and it's these little ones just down there. You can see those. Okay, again, this is so easy to fit. Before you put it in, it would be advantageous to fit your cables first. So, where's the power? So put your starter cable on and just slots in and then put your power on that will just slot in yeah then the top tip when you're fitting your starter you're going to have a little ledge it's going to help you fit in it so get your starter in gently get it to sit on the ledge Try and line up the screws and it fits in really easily. Then get your screws. Put them in. Go on electric or magnetic I should say. Screwdriver, it does help, which I have not got. Excuse me. You're going to have to bear with me because getting this in is just a little bit tricky. They're very short headed ones. And there you go. As you can see, the hardest bit of all of this was getting the screws in. By doing this yourself, you probably saved yourself a few hundred pounds. And it's so easy, even I can do it. So, why don't you give it a go? Save yourself some money. Let's be honest, it's fun as well. So, thanks for coming, and well, hopefully, I'll speak to you again. Bye.